What's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how we make our custom digital props on Canva for LumaBooth, our iPad photo booth software. So I'm gonna open up Canva. We're gonna make a few. I'm gonna give you like the dimensions and give you some ideas and talk about kind of why you should be offering custom props, digital props, and uh, show you how to upload them into Luma Booth. So let's dive right into it. All right, Photo Booth family, here we are in Canva. This is a, basically canva.com is a website you can use to create your templates, your digital props, your overlays. It's like an easy version of photo, uh, Photoshop. So get Canva Pro, it's worth it. Let me know if you guys need that. I'll link it in the description or if you're watching this on TikTok, it's in the bio. So you wanna hit, click right here, create design. Then you want to click where it says custom size. These are the dimensions we use, 1080 by 1080 pixels. Not inches, not millimeters. Make sure it says PX for pixels. Create new design. And this is where we're doing the artwork, everything within here. So why, why should you even care about making custom digital props, also known as stickers, on Luma Booth for your customers? Well, there are times where there's some specialized parties like Monsters Inc. themed birthday, Star Wars themed wedding, or some something, right? And it doesn't make sense to actually make these custom physical props because you may never use them again. So this is an easy way to add it, you know, um, and make some extra money. You can charge 50 bucks for eight custom digital props, right? Cost you nothing, just some time to make them. And um, let's just say it is a, a Toy Story. A Toy Story birthday. You can type in here where it says elements, right? And I, I already looked, so there are some here. So you go to Toy Story. And again, if there's nothing here, you can go to Google and pull whatever you want and then drag it in here. But Canva Pro makes it easy. There's all of these get graphics. And look here, you see where it says Pro? That means it's only for the Pro version. If you want to use it, you have to have Pro. So let's just say we want to use this one. This is iconic Woody from Toy Story. Um, you can't just save it like this and use it. Canva won't let you download it because they they don't want you to take their assets and sell it. You have to alter this somehow. So a quick way to do it is to go to edit. And this is a little hack that I've learned from a friend of mine. You can go down to shadows and then add an outline and then boom, that's it. You can save it now because you changed it right but let's just say hey that's like the lazy way and if you want to make this more customizable you can move it down go to text and let's just say the birthday name is geo right geo second birthday so you can add text you can move we can move this text up here and have this part of the prop and say happy birthday geo so again it's another level of customizing right um, you can obviously spruce this up and make the text better. Let's just go over here. Let's just make it a little bit easier. Um, I like the outline look, right? Or you can do neon, change the color. I'm gonna be quick here. I'm not gonna dive too much into it. Let's just say Geo's favorite color is blue. I mean, you could do it like this, right? Um, let's just say we're happy with this. Now we need to save it. This is very important. Don't just save this as a regular JPEG. It needs to be transparent, also known as PNG. You go over here to the share you click download and then you hit this ch checkbox here transparent background click download give it a few seconds and then it should save to your computer and if you're doing this on an iPad or a different device it'll save there so boom there we go so that's one way to do it and then you can get creative and add whatever other ones you want to add but this is something I think you guys need to utilize for everyone you're doing a custom uh, digital prop for is let's delete this really quick um, the birthday person, or if it's a graduation, the person that graduated, you can get a photo and customize a digital prop where it's just their head, and it makes for a very fun prop for the people to use at the party, because the, think about it. If we get a photo of Geo here, right, and people are using the photo booth, they know who Geo is, they're gonna use it, and it just makes for a, f a funner experience. So, um, again, too, if this is a, a, for a wedding, you can get one of the bride, you can get one of the groom, and you could do it there. So let's just let's just get this headshot here, and let's just assume this is the photo that they sent us. Let's just say this is Geo, right? <laughs> so we're gonna save it. You literally go here, you can save it. Um, let's just assume save as download. Uh, let me quiet this really quick. All right, then you're gonna go to Canva. You're gonna drag the file. Let me let me figure this out really quick um, design uploads okay 
So yeah, you're gonna drag it into Canva. This is not good. We wanna isolate his head and um, Canva Pro, there's a, a version where you can um, use the BG remover, also known as background removal. You click on it, give it a few seconds and it does its work. And to make my job easier, I'm gonna crop the, the most of his body here, right? Leave a little bit of room here. Um, you could crop it like this. And this is an easy way to do it, right? If you're lazy like me, I would probably do it like this. But there is a way for you to go in and then just isolate his full head to where like his shoulders and his traps and his neck are gone. And um, that would be where you go to edit. Then you use the magic eraser tool. And then you literally can like make this brush size smaller. And then just literally slowly, and I'll just do it here, right? I'll just show you. You slowly do it. The smaller the brush, the more fine it is. You basically just come through and erase a line here. And this isn't going to be perfect, right? Because I'm not going to take the time to do this really quick because this is a demo. This is like a skill here, right? So then you can up the brush size once you've done it, uh, the line, and then this is how I do it. Uh, just like that. The big brush. And then watch. You hit erase. <laughs> Um, cool, whatever. I'm fine with that. That's close enough, right? Um, so then you click back. Now watch. Boom. There you go. Utilize it. Make it make it as big as possible. And then, um, then you can come in and then really just punch it in. So, you know, just in case you miss any spots. So, boom, just like that. Now we're going to go to share. Again, download transparent background click download and it's gonna save now I'm gonna show you guys um, I'm gonna save these to my iPad right these files it's very important make sure you save it to your iPad and I'm gonna switch to the iPad and show you guys uh, the steps of uploading it and then how this looks like so let's switch to the iPad right now so we now have the files onto the iPad this is what we're recording on and look if you're using a MacBook just airdrop the files to the iPad or you can email them then go to your iPad go to your email download them so you have them so what I like to do is go to the photos that's not it um, here let me find the photos really quick photos and click on the file that you want to use, like all of them. Um, make sure you click that little arrow on the top left and go to uh, Save to Files. That way, when you open up Luma Booth, it's there. Um, we go to Save, go to the next one. We got Geo here. We're gonna hit that uh, same arrow. We're gonna go to Save to Files. So it's one thing to save it to the iPad, but I like to make sure we save it to the files. It makes this whole thing a lot easier. You can use the cloud when using Luma Booth, but um, Make sure you close Luma Booth out. You want to make sure that once it's saved, you then launch Luma Booth. And we're going to go to launch event. So we hit the drop down menu. You're going to go to where it says stickers. This is where the digital props are. These are some other custom ones that we uploaded. I'm going to delete these. But on yours, you may see it like this, right? You have to click the style and where it says custom and then choose. Now we're going to go find the files that we want to use. Boom, just like that. I click the two. You go open and boom, they are there, right? They're there. But look, you have to make sure you turn it on. If you don't, it'll just, they won't show up. So make sure it's on. So now we are going to go to launch event. I'm going to take a photo and we're going to see exactly. Get ready. What we did, right? And these are test photos, you guys. Don't judge me. I know I look like a mess, but um, this is all for uh, demonstration. Oh my gosh. Okay. Smile. So yeah, I think it's a big deal to have these um, as an option. It's going to make everything just so much Say more personable. Geez. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about when you have the theme really decked out to the T. So, okay. All right. Ooh, looking good. These Share are the worst photos. photos ever. So this is all for you guys. Now check it out. We can add these digital props like so. Um, let's just say this is Geo here the oldest looking two year old ever, right? People can do a funny little thing like that. There's just so much you can do. And you look, two is not enough. I recommend at least five to eight digital props. Um, and again, this isn't hard to do, you guys. It just takes a little bit of um, creativeness and that's it. So um, that's it. That is basically how we do the digital props. And yeah, let's hop back onto the main camera. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, learn a thing or two, but start 
start utilizing the digital aspect of your photo booth. This is an easy way to make money and just kind of elevate your business. And if you want to get started with Luma Booth, they gave us a sign up link for you to sign up. Then you can pay for your software. It's either 18 a month or currently 195 for the year. If you use the link and you sign up for the year and you pay for it, 194.99, reach out to me. Let me know. I will get you in our Photo Booth 101 Luma Booth group chat exclusive only for those that sign up for the year or buy the access to it, which is $50. But you might as well pay for the year and get that $50 group chat for free. And again, Photo Booth 101, if you need a photo booth, any supplies, we're here to take care of you. PhotoBooth101.com. Thank you guys. God bless. See you soon.